Whoa, hold on. Top 10? Oh, fuck. Dude, we have to run the whole thing. Wait, I need to get the, I need to get the fucking sticky note. Grab onto the prey, hold it, and tear it apart. Oh, God. Yo, shit's getting different right now, bro. Every fight is a duel to the death. When they attack, it's all Where are my damn notes? These are the Monster Bug Wars Top 10 Bug Battles of so All stupid. Time. Of all time. This is not stupid. <laughs> like straight up, like, somebody they paid 20 bucks to be a bug <laughs> fight expert. There's nothing wrong with that. At number 10. When a bronze huntsman takes on a slender necked man, right, right, one of them will be down for the count, right. That is what happened. The slender neck, the only way that can play out, the moves and the killer instinct of a cage fighter. In the blink of an eye, long raptorial arms. Raptorial, huh? Like knuckle dusters. That's a word. Land killer punches. But the mantid is about to trade blows with another tough guy. Man, this shit right. better be fucking epic, bro. The huntsman spider is a hit and run hunter. It has eight eyes arranged in two rows of four. Fucking eyes! <laughs> but this street fighter hunts less by eyesight. And more from the faintest telltale movement of air. Wow. Dude, legs where is the bug fight? Sensors that are very, very attuned to vibration. Wait, that's tight. She does no. not work at Cornell. Has she does any... not fucking work at Cornell, though. <laughs> this isn't the point. Uh, okay, is it, it's coming up. It look, this looks like a fucking... Like a boxing match now. Jackie motion, strong legs. Who will survive this fight? Here we go. Okay. All right. We're getting to the good stuff. Both bugs are locked eye to eye in a monster stare down. The mantis makes the first move, advancing boldly up the leaf. That is real commitment. Whether it's a good word for it. Foolish, with its guard up, <laughs> Dude, that guy's weird. Man. That guy's nuts. <laughs> that guy's so odd. The sparring continues. Then the mantis gambles on a full frontal assault. As tactics go, it's not oh what God. you call inspired. Oh shit. The mantis neck finds hit. its slender body bent over backwards. That was the only way that was gonna go. Killer clinch. Nah. With no referee to call break, the huntsman sang. What a weird like thing to daggers. say. All the good into the mantid thorax. Hey, that thorax I mean, it's over now, right? <laughs> the so mantis odd. refuses oh. to throw in the top. Bro, where's it's the red? Over. And grabbing its opponent's pedipout pouch with a sharp toothed arm. The spider is going to be in real trouble if it manages to rip these pedipalps off. So it's the what? Venom as fast as it possibly can. This final struggle might be a great display of courage in the face of certain death, but I'm afraid it's too little, too late. <laughs> this former champion. Bro, why they got a karate instructor on this video? <laughs> it's down for the count permanently. That, that's. Yeah. Damn, the motherfucker didn't even eat him. He just straight up said, fuck you. Tiger Beetle versus Raspy Cricket. Down at number nine. Made up bugs. Crickets are fucking like attackers. Raspy cricket, the end will I thought they be were like violent. defense. If the dude, if the cricket the doesn't win this one, I'm gonna be pip kind of upset. And rips it to shreds. This thing looks so vicious. Dude, what this is, is like not real. What's a cricket doing? That's not even That's real. That's what I'm saying, bro. About ten percent of their body Different size. Different league. It's also the world's fastest. In Holy shit! At three miles per hour. 
That motherfucker zips, bro. What if you had one of these bitches in your house? That shit would piss me off. Be all fast as fuck and shit. Alright, we're placing bets. Who are we putting our bets on? Bro, who's been the under? Raspberry Cricket is one of the most active predatory insects out there. It'll attack really? any other invertebrate it can find. Probably not, dude. I mean, you do hear him everywhere. Oh my god, dude! Those jaws be enough? Dude, bugs are fucked up. And crushing, slicing mandibles. What the fuck that are... That boy doesn't even stop to say hi, bro. He said, yo, what's up? Retaliates with formidable mouthparts. Yeah, dude, bugs are fucked up. Yo, if we ever meet insect aliens, we gotta be careful, dog. No, dude. Dude, hold on. I think if we ever meet aliens, they're gonna be, like, chill as fuck. Deadass. It's the same thing. Chill, dude, because we're gonna be hostile, like guaranteed. Well, it's the same thing with the AI, right? How like once you get so advanced, you realize that just like killing shit and taking its resources probably isn't the best way to like, <laughs> I don't know, help yourselves or help them in the long run. So it's like not really a thing an AI would do or an advanced civilization of aliens that could like get to the to the, to the world to the well, earth. Anything the with the intelligence to get here has though, to know right? that like. We come in peace is not gonna be a thing. Like, like it, like we won't accept it. Like, what? It, whichever government gets the aliens first is going to like. You uh, think? Big scoop. I mean, yeah, dude, it's gonna be a hot. Like, yeah, it's gonna be. Like the U.S. is gonna swoop in, and fuck it. And there's gonna be like CIA operations on whatever. You know what I mean? What's the like? You think it's just gonna be like a free alien with no like military checking out what the fuck's going on there try to get well, like into a research center i don't know exactly how it's gonna work but it has to, like i can't see it going any other way i don't know i don't know man i feel like there's some compassion or something there uh, i don't know what are you saying andres uh, here's the, the thing that i'm thinking about right just like hot takes is we don't think that it is like Good. You said like the AI or aliens would like they would have to come in peace because they're like at a, at a higher level. But, yeah, I like, think they have the understanding. That's taking that they morals should. into account, right? Like because like people no, 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 no. It's not morals. It's not morals. It's not morals. It's it's like the best long term outcome for for everybody involved. Like if you kill a planet of people or just like yeah, strip them of the resources, thing, you're losing right? them as an ally. And like having a planet as an this. ally is Matter way more valuable. It's not more created moral. or destroyed. Right? Okay, it sounds so like you're really reaching here, living, dude. No, dude. Listen, <laughs> like it's like think about if you if some people are living. You said better for all people, right? If like all people is better. If they are actively getting better, that means they're taking something away from other things. No, 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 no. There's a thing. That's it, it, no, 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 no. Shut up. So there's something called a zero-sum game. But, like, uh -huh. not everything operates in, like, a zero-sum game. Like, two people can both win. Like, you can have, like, a win-win situation. Yeah, if those two people win, one other person out there loses. Phrase, no. phrase, like, matter is neither created nor destroyed only if it like applies to like actual like physical material matter. yeah like it doesn't actually work as like it doesn't yeah, work for an economic true. or a finance sort of situation but i mean i don't know i think it no it's not no it doesn't work like that this isn't like, i mean okay not specifically that but i think that the the idea behind that makes sense that like, that the third that there's gonna always be somebody who gets hurt from a, a transaction if, if or some, what? if someone is like winning then it isn't going to be intrinsically take something away from another person or like you, another you can't thing, win without right? a loser yeah, you're, yeah that's a zero right? sum game I mean, it doesn't always work yeah, like yeah. that that's like that's like the thing like multiple people can win at but once. i'm saying that y'all are thinking about this in the perspective from like us humans right like Maybe some fucking random star blows up and like, you know, maybe that star was meant to go do great things, but it blew up and it like gave us like fucking some random fucking material that advanced us, right? Yeah. But like, see, like that's better for us, right? That's better for everyone because it advances everything. 
but the fucking star died, bro. So, like, I'm thinking, like, perspective of universe-wise. Yeah, of course you don't care. Because, I like, who the fuck cares? It's But, like, in the perspective of a universe, it doesn't necessarily... It might not necessarily be better to, like, keep us alive. Better for whom? Like, Mother Earth? Literally, like, bro, what is the reason why we do... And, like, there are... There can just be motivations. What? what? And, like, whatever their motivations... What do you mean? What, what do you like, mean there can just be, like, motivations? What is happening? Like, motivations... I'm understanding these high-level ideas right now. High emphasis on the high-level ideas, dude. Real high levels. Like... I don't know. I'm just th- like, uh, I just, Throw the I just think that bug maybe fights, man. we can Base gang fucking, way in. like, fuck, dude. We it's okay to kill people. At us. Roll the goddamn <laughs> bug tape, bro. <laughs> Roll the goddamn bug tape, man. Fuck the fight. The salami lid. Salami lid. Ain't gonna fit. fit. <laughs> So the salami lid won't fit the salami mm-hmm. lid. Salami lid won't ain't fit. gonna fit like that. Then the cricket counters with a bite. Oh, he died. <laughs> That's crazy. The beetle retreats, but it's not out of the fight. It charges back in and Ooh. grabs hold of I the cricket's tail. Bitch. It's now a tug of war to the death. Wow. The tiger beetle's powerful mandibles inflict a devastating bite to the cricket's abdomen. That's no good. That's brutal. It's followed up by a lethal bite to the neck. Oh. Yeah, this boy put a... Life drains also how you make a girl come. Come. as the victor begins to feed. True. They've got scissors that are cutting up the prey. And they have scissors? It up. And then they've got yeah, the a fucking base beetle. which acts to grind the food. Dude, this is fucking ridiculous. Eats like it hunts. This, all this shit is insane. Loki, as a bug, that looks like a good meal, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> as a bug, though. As a bug, though. <laughs> Number eight. I don't know if I can agree with that. against a swarm of paper wasps. Dude, these animations are brazy. of the big screen. Hell yeah, let's get some IMAX on this motherfucker. Generally spread around a dozen trees that might contain up to 150 nests. With 100,000 to half a million ants total. That's my least favorite guy. Will risk life and life to protect the colony. Every one of these workers comes equipped with weapons of war. Serrated mandibles. Okay. Imagine if bugs made sounds like that. Crush. <laughs> That'd be fucking so scary. Green ants also deploy chemical weaponry. Formic Holy shit. That burns organic tissue. Sprays Bro, from their abdomen. Ants are like fucking genetically wise. Like what their species are these? is fucking ballin', dude. If that weren't bad enough, like there's ants they everywhere. Over a victim, literally biting <laughs> <laughs> like That's so weird. Wait, pause dude, it. Like how many ants are on the planet? The how many? How many ants race, are on the planet? Dude. Look at all the upgrades they have. Can they you... have the fucking physical sharp and the fucking poison, dude. Like, what? You have to choose one or the dude, other. Dude, some of them are strong as fuck Structured, and some of them like, are big dude. as fuck. They're literally called a bullet ant, dude. Dude, one time I <laughs> one time I, I feel like I found, like, Ant Houston. Like, it was fucking nuts. Like, you find, like, one... You find one like giant one that's like buried deep into the ground, and then all of a sudden oh. you see them all spreading out to the next like connecting cities. Oh and yeah! You just see fucking like dude, the woodlands, Baytown, <laughs> like, Katy. <laughs> shit is wild, bro. Wait, can you Google it? Can you see how many ants exist on on the Earth? I guess. I'll be right back. <laughs> one million billion ants. <laughs> Bro, we are losing hard. <laughs> 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 
motherfucker, dude. More than 12,000 species. What a fucking absurd number, dude. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real number. Is that Wait, not called million? a trillion? Dude, that's one quadrillion ants. Look at all those zeros. Oh, okay, okay. One million, one million billion. <laughs> a quadrillion, dude. Like, I didn't even this know. This is the type I'm... of shit I low key think about, bro. Like, some good genes there, dude. That's some good fucking genes. That's a really good point. Yeah, I mean they're also so small though. There's like a million billion other things that are small, right? But the dude, the thing I like about ants is that they're fucking everywhere, bro. Like there dude, are ants everywhere. everywhere. There will be ants in your house. There will be ants on your bed. <laughs> dude, ants bro, will just find a we're way. We're gonna get rid of ants, bro. There's like, one million dude, billion dude. ants. We just fucking deal with that shit, bro. I mean, you can just kill them <laughs> instantly. Just you just instantly destroy it. You know? Dude, it's it's plants versus ants. Or, I mean, humans versus ants. No, humans beat the fuck out of ants. Ants are trash. I don't know, bro. They're they're winning this the the the, the, the they're winning in numbers, bro. Hey, okay, bro, you they, can you can kill ants with a fucking uh, magnifying glass. You can bro. kill ants with <laughs> nothing at all. You can just like put your finger on it. Bro, it I goes would away. not try to fuck with any of these fucking ants. That depends on the ant, you know. If it's one of those, you spray it with fucking poison even and it whole, dies. Even the whole Dude, squad, you just the fuck thing it with about that hose. genetically, you don't think that they're gonna fucking. <laughs> fucking evolved to be immune to that shit we'll there's start... already fucking bugs dude, that are no we'll just things. we'll just like hit him with a fucking flamethrower dude or something. they've already there's no way there's a nukes flame resistant ants dude i could totally see that shit they, they don't Think become flame resistant because we're trying they're not trying to annihilate all the ants on the planet they're too dumb to be a threat even though there's one million billion of them <laughs> they're just they don't matter at all they're not even in That's our the way person why um because you know how, like, Buddhists, Buddhists don't um, kill, like, animals? Like, any bugs or anything? Yeah. Um, or, like, especially a lot of people in the country, they don't, like, they, like, you know, if you see a snake, you know, you're supposed to actually just, like, take it out and put it into the wild because it serves its purpose, like, you know, keeping the fucking grass green or whatever the fuck. But it's a snake. But, but I asked the Buddhists why they don't kill ants, and they just came up with some, like, philosophical bullshit for why they don't kill ants. Like, literally, ants have no fucking purpose. Like, even they know it, but they just, like, since they have to have, like, an absolutist viewpoint on it, they, they're they just like, well, the ants are, you know, fucking God's creatures, too, like, basically. Yo, what if whenever we die, we become an ant, and there's been 100 quadrillion previous simulations? And we become ants. This is slowly. this is so disconnected. Fuck yeah, dude. No, this is too Maybe far disconnected. We're ants. <laughs> Beneath this treetop bunker, with its elite soldiers, lives a colony of paper wasps. In a skirmish, they use. Well, their yeah, we're talking all this dope shit like about a... ants. What about wasps, dude? They can fly. They also Do any of them survive the nuclear the bombs? Or is Roaches. that just Big guns at the rear. I, I don't know I about feel like an ant could survive a nuclear. Once, these wasps can sting Explosion. repeatedly. They can sting unlimited times. They have infinity stingers. Why are bees even a thing one anymore? These are trash. <laughs> these are trash wasps. Can smash one bug civilization up against another. Without We're doing the whole like colony. Now it's war. What the fuck? Ants Next, literally said move on to this fucking wall. Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? Coming in at number seven, Dude, this is nuts. Jaws. And later, a deadly ninja meets a destroyer in disguise. Wow, this Whoa. is dope. This is dope shit. Amazing production. The big fucking bold letters. <laughs> big wigglies. Yeah, nice. The top ten countdown continues. As a tree branch, home to a green ant colony, is flung against a paper wasp nest. War oh. is declared. 
Green tree ants attack with they were living on a branch, the wind punched it into it, acid. and now they're fighting. Paper wasps dispense wild. multiple stings with aerial maneuverability. Oh. Which bug nation will survive this war? Wasps mobilize their airborne troops. Gangs of green ants swarm over individual wasps. Without the ants' superior teamwork, the wasps are at a disadvantage. But one-on-one, -on -one, a larger wasp overpowers a single ant. Sting, but sting, in sting. ant battle tactics, strength lies in numbers. Individual wasps are pinned down. It's a million Strong. billion, oh. man. Gang is coming. Ferociously. But like, this is what I'm saying. That is in their genetic code to just pin motherfuckers retaliate. down? Mounting a concerted airborne attack, they breach the I mean, the it's in like human genetic code to do it too. And begin carrying off the ant brood. It's life. Uh, wasps are way scarier than ants. Under the onslaught, green ants scurry to save their young. Ants are like the middle class. It's carnage. Dude, this is like a holocaust right now. The wasps These ants just had a fucking ability. a straight up holocaust. Strike on the ants nest tips the balance. It's a straight they up war, bro. Their this is wild. <laughs> Defeated the green ants. Why do they have to do this? Why do they have to have this fight? To start a new They don't even know in another part to win. of the forest. To win. No, the wind. Ah. Blew the branch into oh, the wasps. Wait, that, that's actually what happened? <laughs> that's the setting, apparently. I don't know if these are like rigged or like seven, this has actually happened. When a fresh water crab <laughs> it fucking a rigged, dude. These are rigged heads. bug fights. There are dude, no I mean, soft could options. you like, could you really instigate some shit like that? Like, th and throw a camera down? <laughs> It'd be tight as fuck. The combatants in this top ten clash share the same pond. The freshwater crab is a shameless scavenger, feeding shameless. on the recently dead <laughs> or anything too weak to find. I feel like they characterize this crab. Like a knight in they want us to not like armor, this crab. The freshwater crab's body and legs are safe from all but the most extreme assault. But the freshwater crab's major weapon is its claws. What is it it's doing? with these claws that they're able to do everything. They can grab prey or potential predators. They can tear potential. things apart. But patrolling the, the freshwater fuck was pond that? is a devastating opponent. The tiger leech. It doesn't feed on the dead. It sucks life from the living. <gasps> It's a big ass leech. The posterior leash. sucker attaches to its victims with an almost unbreakable grip. Up at the head, the anterior sucker does the real damage. It's all mouth. With tiny razor sharp. Hey Wes, you claws. think that thing coochie fat? I don't know if it's fat, but a grip. <laughs> Once they bite a prey, they hold on with a combination of suction and mucus. They also inject an anti-clotting enzyme to keep the wound from closing up and slowing down their feeding. But what happens when it goes head to head with the freshwater crab? What is that? The tiger leech attacks with gripping suckers and razor sharp jaws. The freshwater crab relies on heavy armor and sharp crushing claws. <laughs> That's my slime. <laughs> Which one will make a meal Defense of the other? Defense is slime. Defense is armor. It's this is a good battle. In the pond. These are very different Any styles of fight. Is fair game. The crab backs off. But the leech is back. Sound effects though, it searches dude. for the crab's Achilles heel. Oh shit. And finally finds access to the soft flesh. Damn. 
Damn, we can literally see that. clearly visible. And the leech starts to suck the crab dry from the inside. Yeah. This is bad news. The crab is able to defend itself really That's well a deep metaphor for body, but behind it a toxic girlfriend that pinchers, gives good head. Can't get its legs behind it. <laughs> the leech Bye. sucks the life out of the crab. Looks like I had no chance. When the tiger leech drilled through the crab's carapace, the crab began losing all its fluids. Emptied of its body fluids. The crab I losing all your fluids in the ocean. Breath. Been there. And is consigned to a watery grave. Thing is huge, dude. Imagine if that shit attacks you. I would be. With the slime, dude. All right, well, who's putting the bets on what? I'm going ant lion for sure. When a trap jaw. Dude, it's called an ant lion. I'm not betting against that. Opens up. Andreas, the make this one interesting. loves the sand. Better still, it loves moving sand. It's the king Dude, this thing of is horrible. Just a quarter inch long. It wow, this thing's fucking horrible. I hate it. Overnight. Burrowing in backwards, the ant lion too creates cool a pit <laughs> by flicking up sand from a central hole. <laughs> Yeah, this music's what a little... What they're doing is they're gradually digging a cone-shaped pit. Victims simply stumble in... Holy shit, this is badass. ...and never leave. <laughs> the fell is fucking fire! Another predator is on the hunt. A trap jaw ant. Its spring-loaded jaws lock open at 180 degrees, like a crossbow. Then, on contact, they slam shut. These jaws are the speed like of the natural world. They are literally the fastest moving body part of any animal. They snap shut at Bugs are animals? 45 miles an hour. Next, I'm not gonna show us that. The jaws of death face their own. Oh, 45 test. miles per hour, dude. Ha, who then, did they have a gun? Top 10 bug battles, deadly nets versus venomous daggers, camera, bro. and mm. later, desert demons in the death struggle. Wow, I'm at the edge of my seat. <laughs> In top 10 bug battle number six, trap jaw ants are on the hunt. But lying in wait, this shit look pretty slow, bro. Ant lions. <laughs> the trap jaws attack with stings and spring loaded mandibles. The ant lions entrap that sand and trap is wild. Sickle shaped jaws. Which hunter will Horned, eat today? horned armor and allies. I think trap jaws got this. There are oh, just everywhere. the bet. It's got different bug allies. <laughs> part sinkhole. They tag in once its HP drops below 30%. It's fucking they bug Israel. <laughs> As the ant walks in to the edge of the pit, it just big brother so steep your ass. that they can't maintain their balance at the edge. When the the motherfucker fell in escape, like fuck. The ant lion showers sand from below. Said earthquake, bitch. Fucking mudslide up. Under the sand, the ant lion has locked on, pulling its victim down. Oh my god, this is fucking cool. Those huge trap jaws <laughs> are useless. Dude, this is cool as fuck. The ant lion has already begun sucking its victims' insides out. The trap jaw disappears without a trace.
Damn. Ogre face spider. The assassin, assassin bug, bug. come five. now. When an ogre faced spider takes on an assassin bug, dude, the assassin bug is wild. Of one ninja versus the stealth of another. Reach advantage for sure. Yo, that thing Most fucking sucks. Eyes, but poor vision. The ogre face. Dude, I'm about to get uncomfortable. optics. That turn some Harry Potter shit into day. Their vision at night is far better than cats and better Those than eyes, bro. Dude, peeping. And what these spiders do that is absolutely unique in the animal kingdom is they build a very, very specialized web. An expandable net that traps the unsuspecting <laughs> in the blink of an eye. What are these? Motherfucker <laughs> is out. <laughs> like a gladiator. These dudes just use their hands. <laughs> that boy gets down and dirty. He just uses his hands. And deadly is the assassin bug. That's crazy. Watching the assassin bug move is like watching a Shaolin Kung Fu master walking across rice paper. Gentle, silent, careful. Not a single mark. Not even the most blind. What's this models. guy's deal, man? No wonder it's got a long neck ass up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy doing? Choice is part long sucking mouth. <laughs> part syringe for injecting venom. The assassin bug stabs its prey using this long, reach around like structure called a rostrum. But with the rostrum, it has additional microstructure. It's called stylids. And what they do is they open up small tears inside the prey, which facilitates the venom flowing in. This is accent. Where is it from? In bug battle number five, a deadly net and a venomous spear. Will soon become the weapons. Dude, this of fucking choice. spider might as well use like a pocket knife or something, like a broken bottle. Does <laughs> he the catch grave. the fucking spear in the net? That'd be tight. Next, treacherous silk. Dude, they're about to fight. How are they gonna make them spear. fight? Treacherous silk. Then fight number four, death in the desert, and later, rainforest giants go head to head. Giants. At number five in the top ten countdown, two Bug World gladiators are in a forest arena. The assassin bug is armed with a flesh piercing spear and venomous saliva. The ogre faced spider throws a deadly net and dispenses venom. We get it. Which bug will live to see the dawn? The two deadly foes converge in the dark. Maybe darkness. assassin bug wins this one. Dude, this guy's got a fucking weapon. The assassin bug needs to get past oh, the video net quality to strike is... a blow. Insane. Bro, he's uh, going straight he's at the net. <laughs> <laughs> Forehead. <laughs> the foot gets caught. Oh well, yeah. Tommy. He Bad move. The one defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a check. <laughs> In one swift movement. The what a total fucking idiot. And cool? scoops its hey, victim right into a treacherous fool. Of silk. Absolute fucking fool. It's a wild fucking web, man. What it will do is it will grab it up. Wrap it up with more and more silk, so there's no chance that treacherous silk is able to get its piercing mouth parts out. The ogre faced wow, that girl got fucked while keeping her distance, just literally, yes, absolutely fucked. Legs to break free of the and this is a metaphor round. for whenever a girl sticks around only because the dick's too late <laughs> with the deadly rostrum safely encased in silk. The ogre face moves in for the kill. The would-be assassin 
takes a hit. He's wrapped up in that treacherous venom. silk. Death is seconds away. But the ogre faced spider ignores the formalities. Dude, this it's is a real thing. On the body fluids of the vanquished. What is that about? Why are those a thing? Who the fuck made those? Fuck those things. At number four, those suck. When a desert centipede collides with a desert trapdoor spider, there will trap be door. bloodshed. Dude, what is the point of bugs? Most of the time, this trapdoor spider remains Kill in the bugs. underworld. Why are they here? Fuck off, though. Like, but some rain brings it into the open for a long. That one's scary, day. bro. Why were they made for? Just to piss me off. It's a rare Bro, if y'all have y'all's feet on the floor right now, y'all are tripping. I don't. I picked him up. <laughs> Dude, no way. The spider is reclusive because the desert trap door is an ambush specialist. With two giant fangs that can pierce the toughest exoskeleton. Trap door spiders have quite uh, large uh, parallel fangs that strike down. It rears the front end of its body up and then strikes. <laughs> the trap that lady is a formidable killer. But tonight, the rains bring out another destroyer. The Desert Centipede. The Desert Centipede is the baddest of the bad. He's aggressive, fast, big, mean. He wanders the desert like a serial <laughs> killer, looking for more victims to add to his list. Each foot what is going on here. A sharp spike. What's up? It's just a big, long, bad, slithery, <laughs> hard. <laughs> Two huge claws. Just one of the baddest. <laughs> this odd, so just <laughs> ridiculous. It's fucking gun, this man. big weapon is his extremely potent venom, which he delivers with these unique. Does he have an accent? Their claws dedicated to delivering venom. This desert. Three accents, like fading in and out. Incredible senses. He went English to Southern Two right there. huge antennae pick up chemical scent trails. They have this extraordinary ability to follow a chemical trail ruthlessly, persistently. Once they find Midwestern. it, then they attack. Dude, he has like a 45% Down Syndrome accent. That ass, that's exactly what it is. Listen to it next time. It's mostly normal, but it's... The top 10 war to end all wars. Alright. As battle number four begins, rain returns life to this small patch of desert. It also brings death. As creatures emerge from their burrows to drink. Bugs and just hunt. eating other bugs, ew. The desert trapdoor spider skewers victims with its giant fangs. The centipede attacks with spiked feet and smashing <coughs> venom claws nice that's a good one Who that's good in this patch the victor it's showdown time <laughs> for this desert trapdoor spider a brief outing to find water lights a chemical fuse burning all the way to a big bang like a heat seeking missile the centipede locks. That would it be to have like a couple just like super dangerous bugs, if and you just like feed them and watch them do badass shit like live bug fights. You feel me? Dude, do you think no. there's like a ring the or like a underground bug fighting thing? Dude, Venom we found our niche, bro. Into the spider's body. Fucking bug fights, dude. We just the have vicious fucking bugs at our house, and we just find shit to feed so it them. Can't escape. <laughs> it's kind of tight. The it's kind of crazy. Its and then whichever one wins is your new pet. 
You just trade up like Digimon. Using his claws like steak knives. Oh my god, dude. Where the even is it? That ass. Is it eating a mouse? Eats slowly. That's its ass. What's ass? Would Vita fuck with you for that? Is is that morally like apparently to they're have bugs? Like a rainforest mantis I mean, apparently, apparently bugs are animals, because that's what he was saying. In a monster Damn. battle. Dude, Praying Mantis never loses, ever. Look at these fucking guys. Wait, what is that? It's one of the rainforest's is that a Praying most Mantis? bizarre citizens. Ew, dude. Fuck the that. Huge, spiny leaf insects, heavy armor, and razor spikes are for defense. And it's, final boss for sure. it's so wild that these things exist on this planet. And if a predator does try to they're take just a too bite, small for it to really make a big a deal difference, and they're too spikes. dumb. But like, this fucking weird alien forest, thing is here. There's one creature. It's a fucking dinosaur. So easily deterred. It's an alien, man. It's not from here. It's an evolutionary success story. The giant rainforest mantis. It's like a bug world dinosaur. That's a cool pet. With a powerful it's an stance interesting pet. And lethal forearms. Spikes. Can they fuck up like a human hand or what? Ensure nothing I bet. escapes. The strike can happen like bad or to 50 thousandths of a second. So this is like one twentieth of a blink of an eye. I didn't but look that fast. Will speed beat spikes? The spiny leaf insect defends with heavy armor and Oh, that was spikes. the spiny leaf insect. The mantis insect. attacks with thorny okay. limbs and vicious mandibles. Which of Smell. these top ten goliaths will fall? The, Dude, the praying mantis never lose. Has weighed the options. It's only they just a squared him up. Choosing the moment to strike. <laughs> but with faith in its heavy. <laughs> The spiny <laughs> oh god damn it that hurts so fucking bad forward. Man it's never loses powerful jaws start slicing through its victim the spiny Just biting out the arm struggles to escape In a fight, Dude, that motherfucker the strong is going to rely on its arm to hold out long enough for it to get away Oh no he's Australian so I was kind of, the I was more kind of the right. The eats, the less its victim can fight. It's a race through the first course. Mantis mouth parts work overtime as cutlery. Dude, what is going down? Mandibles Just like stripping this guy dry? Why would you buy fruit flies? <laughs> That's the worst <laughs> shit. Oh my god. <laughs> A top ten bug world giant. I told you, dude. Never lose. Garbage. Rainforest garbage. That's strong words. Spider or Coming spider with long jaw? Two. I'm gonna go spider with when long two jaw. When jumping spiders face off, which one will get the jump on the other? In the battle He's got of a long the long assassins, the long jawed jumping spider is armed to the teeth. But they've got incredibly long, thick chelicera with long fangs that are almost half its body length. Holy shit, Not dude. Not only that, but you can't sneak past a killer whose eyes are everywhere. They've moved a number of the eyes back on their They did it? So <laughs> that's what I'm just saying. Jumping spiders have 360 degree vision. Yo, that's ridiculous. They're the cute. The jaw isn't alone. The green jumping spider has the same skills and the same spots. <laughs> They'd be the in comic the relief in the summer. fucking movie. Yeah. She's also the supermodel of the spider world. Oh, see? Bro. That green jumping spider is absolutely That 360 degree vision is wild. The body is compact and the leg is short. It's like a crazy concept. The perfect Survival. build for a How would there ever be a forward? Onto its prey. 
Like the orientation of your body, I guess. They can launch themselves. Oh, I don't know. An amazing 20 times their own body length. Astounding. Next, jumping. I guess you just focus on backwards, right? I mean, how does your focus in work, though? Battle, the fiercest fighters in the how could you ever focus on anything with 360 degree vision? Like, it's literally not possible. You're just saying that because you don't have it. I know. But, like, it doesn't really make sense. I don't. I can't even, like, comprehend it. Our top ten battle number two opens. You wouldn't notice it. You'd as get used two to it. Species of <laughs> it's not about that. I just mean conceptually Who focusing on something kind of requires you to tunnel in down to it. I guess you're. It's just peripheral well, vision that's longer. The green so. jumping spider. I guess you could focus on things all jump. around. You just, it's like just having really wide peripheral Which vision. Bug will jump to a conclusion. Like really wide. Like it's like the it keeps going. Green jumping spider makes the first it's trippy. Move. That precision. It's a Mexican standoff. Who will blink first? I don't think that's what they do. The long jaw <gasps> plays it safe. Yo. But the green beauty isn't giving up. These things are impressive. She stalks her opponent. Holy and shit. A direct hit. Her fangs might be small, but they drip with deadly venom. These guys have a really fast acting venom. The long jaw's legs have already started to curl up. A sure sign it's about to pass its use by date. The supermodel is more than just a pretty face. <laughs> Looks can kill. That's not really the part that killed, though. It was the fangs. For our top battle, it's a tree claws. scorpion invades a green ant kingdom. It's one scorpion? It's a call to arms to defend the empire. It's one scorpion? It's fucked. This plant is about to become green ant territory. It's empire built. Is it not? By an incredible society that thinks as one. Colonies are interesting things. This is where hundreds of individuals behave like a single organism. There are workers, porters, guards, and beneath this swarm of servants. That is kind of fucking crazy, huh? In an ant colony, the queen is by far the most valuable thing. She sits wow, there that's day so in, weird. day out, pumping out hundreds of eggs. You ever think how Every you could just have been born an ant born instead and been doing this dumb shit? With equipment to match. I don't know if that's better or worse. Up front, its Man. mandibles are like a hydraulic press. Guess I wouldn't really be able to. Lined with razor teeth. Kind of even think about it. They could you lift a seven-ton truck. Imagine Unless us you, being uh, able to lift something hundreds of times our body weight <laughs> using just our mouth. You just you die going to war but some creatures with a scorpion. Can be too hot to handle. Like this no way to live, man. Descended from the first bugs to crawl on land 300 million years ago. The tree scorpion. It captures prey by stinging it with this venom, grabbing it with the pinchers, and then Singing tearing it, it with apart venom. and eating it. But how will it fare in a border dispute? The tree scorpion will strike with a venomous stinger and vicious pincers. The green tree ants fight with razor-sharp mandibles and chemical weaponry. Will this war be won by its one defense. or many? Green ants are extremely territorial. They will protect their queen at all costs. I think he's Australian trying to do an American accent. The queen. 
I think that's what's happening. It's been spotted by a lone be. scout. That's fine. It's David versus Goliath. But no one's told the green ant. No matter how futile the attack, it's programmed to lock on to its foe. <laughs> the scout is easily dispatched, but it has sent out a chemical distress signal. It's like sounding an air raid siren inside the colony. That's how do they do that? The defensive strategy of the green ants is built all around teamwork, sending out chemical messages that'll bring in lots of ants. Uh, did they act like fucking wireless repeaters? Ant numbers swell quickly. Each attaches itself. Sensing an advantage, the ants deploy their weapon of mass destruction. A cloud of formic acid. <laughs> More soldiers swarm in to replace the dead and dying. The, the scorpion had no chance, man. The scorpion's last defenses. No yeah, chance. The ants are able to hold on to different parts of the scorpion, so it. And this scorpion really came into the wrong hood. There's a limit to how many it's able to grab with its pinchers. The scorpion is pinned, helpless. The ants then set about dismembering their victim. They start carrying away the ultimate trophy of war, the scorpion's stinger. Its fight is over. God damn. Many ants have made the ultimate sacrifice. That's, That's okay. how the colony works. One individual dies, an empire is defended. Long live the queen. Dude, these guys are hood as shit. The bug world's top battles are never a foregone conclusion. Size matters, but it's no substitute for maneuverability. Heavy armor that was it? won't always give you a winning edge. What do you edge. mean that was it? Sheer firepower doesn't ensure success. When you take on the baddest monsters, the biggest surprise of all is that you're alive to tell the tale. Bro, it's like one in the morning and I'm watching <laughs> <a fun> fight. 